Do we have too much government? We need to put uh, people in ahead of proper profits. This system is so lopsided. This threat is a real threat to democracy. And I think that's really important. That's something we haven't been doing in this country for a long time. Where do you start? What do you do? How do you do it? Access to Democracy and other Egan Community Television programming is supported by Thomson Reuters, makers of Westlaw Next and based in Egan. Through Westlaw Next and other innovative online services, Thomson Reuters is the world's leading source of intelligent information for businesses and professionals. Online at ThomsonReuters.com and by U.S. Federal Credit Union, the member-owned financial institution offering service, value, and experience you can trust to the greater Twin Cities community. Welcome. Access to Democracy returns. We have two first-time guests, although we probably should have had them here a long time ago. Nathan and Carrie Spears of Egan Shirtworks and Promotionals. And welcome to you for Thank our you. first trip to Access to Democracy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have been clothing our volunteers with your shirts for well over a dozen years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, in fact, uh, w we forgot to bring one in today to show, but you do have a couple of things to show us what you do. But let's talk about background first. Sure. Uh, Nathan, you were in pastoral studies, yep. and you ended up as a, an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. Um, got my degree in pastoral studies and was working at a church here in Egan. Uh, started out as a children's minister, moved up to a youth pastor and did that for about five years. And then uh, when our second son was born, we decided that uh, um, the ministry just wasn't really a good fit for our family and uh, we're looking at some other options and got a really good deal on some screen printing equipment and we just decided why not give it a shot. Now, Carrie, where did you folks meet? We actually <laughs> have known each other for a long time. We even went to the same elementary school together. Really? Yes. Yeah. And um, in high school, we became friends. And then it wasn't until after high school that we started dating. Now, he's turning gray, and you're still 19. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so. I knew there was a reason we liked you, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you were with the church, what were you doing? Mm -hmm. Or were you mothering the first of your three boys? Yes, I actually have a bit of a background in construction management. So I worked for several construction management companies and was a mom and a pastor's wife and <laughs> stayed very busy, yes. And a piece of equipment came along that you decided to take a chance on or what? Yeah, at the time I was uh, working kind of 30 hours a week as a, as a youth pastor and then supplementing my income driving school bus. And there was a, another bus driver that I was working with that was doing screen printing on the side and he also had a carpet cleaning business. And his carpet cleaning business was taking off and so he wanted to get rid of his screen printing equipment and he offered it to us for a fairly cheap price and, and it fit in our basement and so we put it in there and started printing shirts. And when was this? It was 91, May of 91 when we first started. So there were two of you and you were printing basically t-shirts at that time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how things have grown. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Quite yes. a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. So, I mean, you now have a business that's not just t-shirts. As a matter of fact, we've, we've used it for t-shirts once and t-shirts for special occasions, but uh, our staff shirts and mm -hmm. you do all kinds of jackets and other promotionals. So let's take us through the progression of how we got to this point. Certainly. 
Well, it, it is interesting <laughs> to think of the progression because when we first started, when films were made, it was made with a very large, giant camera that weighed. How much would you oh, say that boy. weighed? <laughs> it was a big stat camera. It was, yeah. um, had to be about 500 pounds. At least. And, and uh, yeah, and whenever I had to, at that time it was faxing, and so when I had to fax, that was back when we would go to a local print shop, so I would drag my three kids and fax uh, art proofs back and forth, and so it was great to see when everything became computerized. And so we, we just continued to advertise, and our business grew through word of mouth and returning customers. And then uh, eventually we did this. And a very upbeat attitude. That's the one thing that, you know, I, I can say, having dealt with you for lo these many years, <laughs> mm -hmm. is that, you know, it's a fun place to go to, and everybody is upbeat, and your employees pretty much have the same attitude, and there are quite a few of them now. Yeah, Thank we, you. we yep. have about 10 employees now. Mm -hmm. And it is a very, very fun atmosphere to work in. Um, we have some, some very, good quality employees and, and we're happy to have them. Very grateful, yes. So you moved out of the basement and mm -hmm. you're now on Pilot Knob Road. Yep. We in are. In a commercial center. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we moved out in, uh, <coughs> we took possession of our space in August of 2000 but actually moved in in January of 2001. Um, kind of that Christmas break where it has traditionally been not very busy for us from Christmas until New Year's and we took that time to move all the equipment out of our house and into the uh, new location and we've been growing ever since and filling up the space and yep. we, we use every inch of that space yes <laughs> and talk about some of the equipment that you have added mm -hmm. when we moved out of our house we had a uh, what we call a belt dryer and the one that we had in our house is about two feet wide by six feet long and in order to increase production we needed to get a bigger a bigger dryer the one we have now um, we still use that same one that we had in our house but we've added uh, it's a five foot belt and it's probably about 30 feet 28 to 30 feet long so and what does that do a belt dryer the inks that we use <coughs> need to reach a certain temperature in order to actually cure and and adhere to the shirt permanently and that dryer heats the shirts up to that temperature uh, and then allows them time to cool off again before they fall into uh, either get taken off by one of our employees or fall into a box to be picked up and, and gone through later um, but if the uh, without that belt without the dryer the shirts would never, um, the ink would never stick to the shirt permanently. Uh, it, it, it's an ink that really will never dry as long as it hasn't been heated up to a certain temperature. So that's, that's what the purpose of the dryer is. So you were pretty much back in the shop mm -hmm. and Carrie is pretty much up front with more catalogs than I've ever seen <laughs> any place. <laughs> yes, and, yes, uh, very yeah. true. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my, my whole life is really measured in T-shirts <laughs> because I buy one wherever we go. Yep. And so I have yeah. a stack of T-shirts, literally, probably two feet high, of different places and different occasions and uh, mm -hmm. bowling teams that I was on really 25 years ago. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Couldn't bowl well then, can't, <laughs> can't bowl well now. Sharon yeah. is the bowler in the family. Uh, I'm the handicap, but uh, be that as it may. And uh, one thing I will say about your shirts, particularly t-shirts, which we started doing before we went to the polos that are really, really nice and good quality. Uh, your t-shirts didn't shrink. I know mm -hmm. when we're buying t-shirts, uh, as souvenirs, mm -hmm. whether in this country or overseas, and we've done that a lot, they shrink. Yeah. Yeah. Sharon has ended up with more of my shirts than <laughs> I <laughs> even like to think about because yeah. right, I right. outgrew them. Yeah, we try uh, to make sure that the, the shirts that we sell are a good quality shirt that uh, our customers are going to be um, proud to either give away or sell or 
or hang on to for themselves. Mm -hmm. So thank you. And you've grown to 10 people now. We yep. have. Yep. Yep. That is literally the American success story. <laughs> <laughs> and how yep. many of your sons are in the business? Zero. Zero, <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, they've all taken their, their turns at helping us out in one way or another. Um, they joke about the fact that when we were in our basement and I was putting through a big order, I'd put them at the end of the dryer and they'd catch the shirts and fold them and stack them and, and all that. And then after the, we were all done, I had a little refrigerator under the dryer. I said, okay, now you can have a Coke and I'd send a dollar <laughs> bill down the end of the dryer and that's all I had to pay them. <laughs> they were happy. But uh, things have changed now. Now they want an hourly wage. <laughs> so what, what are the three boys doing? And yeah. a mother of three boys, adult boys. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. So uh, we finally did get a dog that was a, another female, so that was nice. Oh. Yeah. But uh, we have our our oldest son is uh, he joined the Marines right after he graduated from high school, and then he is now attending St. Thomas University, and he is very um, active in the CrossFit community. In fact, he was on the first team from Timberwolf CrossFit this past July to make it to the CrossFit Games, which took place in Los Angeles. Now, a lot of people don't know what CrossFit is, mm -hmm. so what yes. is CrossFit? I'll, I'll <laughs> let you s describe that. CrossFit is, uh, there's actually two different phases of CrossFit. Mm -hmm. For the average person, it is, it's a workout unlike any other workout you, you, you can get any, anywhere else. Um, based on uh, functional movements, um, high intensity, Every, every day the workout's a little bit different, and uh, or quite a bit different, but throughout the process you work out uh, your whole body. You're not doing legs one day and, and arms the next day, but you just continue to work out your whole body. And, uh, and it's just, it's, it's a very beneficial, um, good workout. And, and I would say too, it surrounds around what's called a WAD, a workout of the day. And so it may be something that's 10 to 20 minutes and you may have three rounds of doing, you know, 10 burpees, uh, 25 front squats and 50 double unders, just a jumping rope. And then you're, you just time yourself and it's always different and mixed up every day. It's very fun. Yeah. And Nathan's become a certified instructor. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 I am. There happens to be a CrossFit facility in the same building that our uh, our shop is in or our office and uh, so it's very convenient at the end of the day sometimes I just go down there and 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 coach and other days I go down there and work out so mm -hmm. it works out really well and son number one is into CrossFit yes, is, as, yes. as Carrie was saying um, it, it's it's worldwide and the second part of CrossFit that I was going to talk about is the competitive aspect of it and and uh, Worldwide, they do compet. Um, they're just starting in February. They're uh, the end of February. They're going to start the open where everybody can compete to try to earn a spot to the regionals. And then once you make it to the regionals, you try to earn a spot to the games, which takes place in in L.A. Mm -hmm. And uh, not an Olympic sport yet, though. No, no, no. But there is Olympic lifting involved <laughs> in CrossFit, so you do the snatch and and uh, clean and jerks and things like that as as part of the workouts. Um, and so it's it's actually created a little bit more e of excitement here in the in the states for Olympic lifting than there has been in 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 the past. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so our number one number one son has uh, um, was part of the first team from Minnesota to actually make it to the games, and they took fourth place at the games. And so that's, out of that's the ex marine. That's it the ex marine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> the marine. Once you're a marine, you're always a marine. Right. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Son number yeah. two. Yes, yeah, son number two will be graduating from Winona U University this May with a business degree. And uh, he has a couple of job prospects lined up, and so he's doing well. And then our youngest son is also at Winona University, and he's getting a business administration degree as well. So. Yep. Uh, of the three of them, nobody wants to come into Shirtworks and promotionals. 
how they uh, they're kind of looking forward to branching off into their own endeavors. Yeah. So I, I think they've fun. had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now you brought us a couple of samples, so uh, why don't you show us the T-shirt first? We did, and yes. <coughs> we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. So this first one is a screen printed T-shirt and it has uh, four colors on this particular design. And so the way this is done is when it is printed on a press, each color will have its own uh, screen. And we also brought this one because it has a little bit of a distress look in it too, which is rather popular. This I believe was for a school, um, local theater company. And by, by Birdie the Play, I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep, yep, so that was one <laughs> item. And uh, we, we print a lot of t-shirts. We have two manual presses, where it, and that's where someone is pulling that screen down and pulling the squeegee across it and laying the ink down. And then we also have what's called an automatic press, and that is where um, it's what is <laughs> the press. All all the operator has to do is load the shirts yes. and take the shirts off. The uh, from there the press does all the work. So you that have to that set would the be press my kind up. of uh, yes. machine. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> except you're trying to get 300 to 600 shirts on yeah. and off that machine an hour. So That's it's it. it's it's you uh, move pretty fast at times. It can be a lot more taxing than the manual press sometimes. Yeah. So on the operators. Yeah, so that's the type of work that we do <coughs> on those presses. And then we also have a s large section of our company is uh, embroidery work as well. And for embroidery, there's different ways to embroider. So for instance, this is strictly thread that's laid down on the garment. And then on the back, we have another process that's called tackle twill or applique. And this is two pieces of fabric that are together and then stitched around the edges and then this is embroidery across the bottom. So we, we do a lot of work like this for school teams and um, this for instance is a drumline group, businesses as well, like these on jackets or sweatshirts. So, yeah. And the prices are not prohibitive, I will say, in, in my experience. Certainly. Yes. Right. We, we try to keep it affordable for families of school teams and, and also for businesses as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have embroidery uh, and you, ca you can't see Ravens who's behind <laughs> the camera there, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, Pull them out. <laughs> em em embroidery uh, on the uh, polo shirts also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. I must say we try to change the color every two years and you We're running out of colors of pretty soon. <laughs> 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 In fact, this year so. it was a question between purple and Kelly green, and we went with the Kelly green. And yes. Uh, very popular. I remember very that. Popular. And our 10 minute signal just came up from the man with the embroidered shirt. With the embroidered shirt. Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you also started to uh, carry a business book club? I did, yes. Tell us about um, that. I, I love to read and to learn, and so I believe it was about four years ago, I got together a group of other entrepreneur friends, and we meet once a month, and we pick out different business books to read, and then we meet and discuss them and talk about ways that they're applicable to our lives, and it's really been just a great joy to be a part of this group. Now you started where, at Bethel University? Yes, I actually went back as an adult student to finish my degree at Bethel University, and I have a degree in organizational leadership. Oh. And the book club is ongoing for how long now? I believe it's been about four years, and so we've covered a lot of materials and a lot of books in those times, yes. The size of it, how many people? You know, we actually <coughs> like to keep it a little bit smaller, so we try to stay about five to six members. Um, I would say there's four of us that are original members, and um, we do that because we feel like each voice can be heard and each person has an opportunity to bring to the table what that book meant to them and what they're learning from it, and it's been just a really great, um, great insights of learning from each other as well. And Sharon and I have a movie club. Obviously, I'm in the cinema department at MCTC, yes. so uh, movies have been very much a part of my life, all my life. Mm. And uh, we get together once a month, 
with a group of other couples and uh, watch a different movie uh, every month and then we generally have dinner mm -hmm. either in or out yeah. and uh, discuss the movie and uh, we've oh. found you know it's very popular and it's been very beneficial so uh, I can really relate to your book club yes yes but, uh, Good. but that's not all that you're involved <laughs> in <laughs> I don't know if we have enough time, but <laughs> let's start. <laughs> okay. Um, some of the other things that we're involved in? Yeah. Uh, well, um, right now we're um, taking a certification course to become health coaches as well. Um, when our kids were younger, we ended up gaining quite a bit of weight. <laughs> we were very busy with our family, but I had always had this vision in my mind of how I wanted our lives to be once our kids graduated. And I had always envisioned us biking and hiking and just being active individuals. And so about four years ago or so, we embarked on this health journey and we have both lost quite a bit of weight and we're starting to live out that lifestyle now of biking, road biking and mountain biking and our CrossFit activities. I've added in a little yoga. Um, there's You're doing CrossFit also. I am, yes, yep. yep. Um, I came across the saying at one point that said, when's the last time you did something for the first time? And so we've tried to apply that to our lives as well and we've been trying to study about f healthier foods and ways of cooking and last October we embarked on a certification program to become health coaches and it's about a year-long program so we're in the middle of it right now we're about one four one fourth of or the way about yeah, yeah I guess about one yeah one third or so and um, we're not sure exactly where it will lead but we're just wanting to be able to help other individuals that might want to make some lifestyle changes but aren't mm -hmm. sure how to or need that support and kind of that encourager next to them. So you yeah. did it voluntarily. I did it involuntarily ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with uh, some intestinal problems. Okay. Sure. So I'm down 40 pounds from what I was. Wow. Okay. And, okay. Uh, yep. I haven't had red meat in a little over two years now. Wow. Okay. That's oh, I must say I don't miss it anymore. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I, I did in the beginning, so it's sure. it's not a vegan lifestyle, but it's a lot of chicken, fish, yeah. mm -hmm. and pasta. Yeah. Yes. And uh, <coughs> sounds uh, similar to some of the changes that we made. You know, not as much red meat. We we still eat a little bit of red meat, but not not as often. But a lot more chicken and fish and mm -hmm. whole grains, whole grains. whole grains and vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And you yeah. have other activities. You've coached. I've coached, uh, when my kids were young, I, I coached in both football and basketball. I was part of the Egan Traveling Basketball System. We uh, uh, had a lot of fun with that. And then, uh, in fact, there, there's still a group of parents that we still get together. Uh, even though our kids are in college now and, and out the door uh, every now and then, every now and then our, uh, the parents from, from our youngest son's team We'll still get together. Uh, for a while it was on a monthly basis. Now it's kind of spread out a little bit more often, but uh, we, we still have a lot of fun together. Um, and uh, it just seemed like a natural progression once, once uh, um, I was done coaching basketball and starting to get involved in, in CrossFit uh, with you know everything that I've done up until this point was working with people. Uh, it just seemed like such a natural progression then to to move on into the CrossFit coaching as well, mm -hmm. and and now as we're getting our our certification in health coaching, that's um, probably the the next phase of our life. <laughs> well, as you're becoming empty nesters, yeah. As we were just talking with Pat Anderson earlier, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. she's facing the prospect of becoming an empty nester. Yeah. You still have a dog? We do. We do. We, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah, we had two dogs and then we lost one over Christmas. It was kind of a, a sad day. It, uh, yeah. But uh, I, I've been through that and uh, yeah. Yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and we've lost two. 
but we have a, a cute Springer now. Oh. We've met. Boundless yeah. energy. That's right. We brought the Springer yeah. into yeah. the shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she loves everybody, and oh. she has just more energy than I can uh, deal with. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah. They add a lot of joy to life, but our pets. They really do. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, uh, and they're not demanding. So what's down the road for Egan Shirt Works and promotionals? And we talked mm -hmm. a lot about shirts and jackets, and all, but let's talk about some of the other things. Well, there are some areas that we're looking at expanding into. Um, uh, right now, um, we've talked about the possibility of getting a pad printer so that we can do um, expand our, our brand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the other thing, too, that we're looking at doing is we recently did a revamp of our website, and the last piece we want to add to that is a design element. So customers can go online and create their own fonts and designs and look at the different shirts as well. So that's, that's and our goal those, yeah, yeah. for this The year. IT digital world helped that a lot, didn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes yeah. it did. Yep. And uh, also shrunk the size of the equipment. So oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely, so yes. It's been so good. So. Well, it's very interesting. Now, now, we've known each other all these years, and so much we didn't know about <laughs> you that we do now know <laughs> about you. Yeah. And uh, let's mention that Egan Shirt Works and Promotionals is just as you cross the Egan line into Mendota Heights yeah. on Pilot Knob Road. Was it 25? 2535. 2535. Yeah. And... Uh, you might be met by a dog there inside uh, <laughs> on, occasion. <laughs> on occasion. On occasion, <laughs> yeah. And on occasion, we brought ours in. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I will say, uh, our experience is not only is the price right, but the quality uh, and the dealing with you has been a great accommodation, and uh, it, it's been Thank our you. pleasure. And I'm really happy that we finally had this chance to share your story with the people of the Burnsville Egan community and this will go online so who knows where else it'll be and <laughs> on YouTube so who knows where, where, else, where else it'll be and uh, I really thank you for uh, who's watching the store today yeah. our great employees <laughs> <laughs> they and they're doing a fine job yeah. and that's really what helps thanks again so much thank and you for good having luck us. to you thank oh, you, thank you. Thank you.